vast depots of military in a protracted war, it's just as likely that Ukraine loses and the authoritarian world achieves a major victory and we basically snatch, uh, we, we snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Lieutenant Colonel uh, Alexander Vindman, um, former uh, White House National Security Council advisor on Eastern Europe and Russia, thank you very much for joining us and uh, thank you for your uh, forbearance with the quality of uh, that line. I still think um, it was worth hearing from him um, some strong points which punched through. Oh. This is New Zealand. <laughs> Distribution of the BBC World Service News Hour of the U.S. is made possible by American Public Media, producer and distributor of award-winning public radio content. APM, American Public Media, with support from the Western supporters. That that hasn't happened so far. Do you think it should? That's right. So the, the nature of their Ukrainian asks suggests the places where they're suffering some significant losses. The fact that they're asking for armor and tanks indicate they need a replenish. See. Lieutenant Colonel Vinland? Seems like it was too high a bar. Oh, yes. Sorry, uh, forgive me, the line was the line was breaking up there. But um, no, just, just, no, no, just to be clear though, you think that it would be a good idea uh, if, if there were a change on that front? Oh, a a absolutely. I think we, we are in for a long war and the things that we, you know, with the, the kinds of capabilities that they've had that have allowed them to meet back the Russian armed forces are need to continue to flow. They need um, and, that, and these are not super hard to replace. Mm -hmm. They're the whole Cold War era enterprise from Central and Eastern Europe could sustain Ukraine with all these weapon systems that they're accustomed to employing. But we also need to start thinking a little bit more um, sophisticated about the fact that this is likely to play out over months. Just and any Western systems are something that we could also start to train them up on and, and uh, provide them. Just on that, and a, a final point, if I may, um, Vladimir Zelensky gave an interview to The Economist magazine um, within this week in which he said there are those in the West who don't mind a long war because it would mean exhausting Russia even if this means the demise of Ukraine and comes at the cost of Ukrainian lives. When I spoke to The Economist correspondent, he said he took from that that uh, the president was talking about the US. Do you think that the US may have that view of the Ukraine war? I think there are certainly uh, some folks within the realist school of thought that think this is the, the, the uh, this would hasten the demise of, of Putin's regime. <laughs> I think that's a recipe for disaster. In fact, Russia is a country of 140 million people. It has vast depots of military. In a protracted war, it's just as likely that Ukraine loses and the authoritarian world achieves a major victory and we basically snatch, uh, we, we snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Lieutenant Colonel uh, Alexander Vindman, um, former uh, White House National Security Council advisor on Eastern Europe and Russia, thank you very much for joining us and uh, thank you for your uh, forbearance with the quality of uh, that line. I still think um, it was worth hearing from him um, some strong points which punched through. Oh. This is New Zealand. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Distribution of the BBC World Service News Hour of the U.S. is made possible by American Public Media, producer and distributor of award-winning public radio content. APM, American Public Media, with support from...